Hi, my name is Charles Miano, Investment Analyst at Nabo Capital. So there's a um, couple of questions I'm answering and I think one popular one that I've quite heard is when should I start investing? So um, thinking right now about um, a lady and she's 23 years old, just straight out of university and she's asking herself, should I start investing now? Don't I have enough time? Um, I'm only 23, I've just started working, I'm out of school. Shouldn't I just enjoy uh, my earnings for the meanwhile? And I think that's quite a relevant question and something that we all think about. I think about it myself. Uh, my recommendation is start investing as soon as you can. There are benefits to that, particularly if you have um, thinking about various investment goals that someone might have. So for example, for this lady, uh, if you think about it, um, maybe she's thinking about buying a home in the future, which is high investment. So how can she start now? Um, and if she's thinking about buying the house in her thirties, and if I'm to give you an example of, she's 23 right now, in the next 10 years, she'll be 33 years old. Now, if she, for example, starts uh, investing and let's say let's use this, this instance where she's making 50,000 Kenya shillings and she starts investing about 10% of that amount that equates to about 5,000 Kenya shillings and now she can start investing that amount very simply in various things she can invest in for example she can invest in the money market fund which um, again I echo on uh, significantly higher return compared to bank deposits. She can invest uh, in shares where she invests, uh, she puts her money in the stock market which over a period of time has proven that you can uh, earn quite a significant, you can grow your amount quite significantly. She can even invest it in um, like bonds for example but typically um, if she puts her money, for example, in a f uh, money market fund, she's earning about, for, uh, for instance, about 10%. That makes it, uh, for 5,000 cash shillings, she's earning 500 shillings. And if, if we take into account something called compound interest, where your money grows over a period of time, that means at the end of the year, she has 5,000 cash shillings, uh, which she's uh, saving every month. She's earning, uh, that means it, adding it up, it will be about 60,000 Kenya shillings that she'll have at the end of the year. At the, at the end of 10 years, assuming that her salary doesn't change, which uh, expectation is she'll grow up, uh, she'll go up the ranks, move some, move jobs, that means it will grow. But if you assume she's working the same level, that means at the end of the 10 years, that 60,000 is 600,000. And now if imagine now she invests that money and just put it on a 10% return every year. So 10% every year on uh, 60,000 gives you 6,000 Kenya shillings. If I'm to take that 6,000 Kenya shillings every year uh, and uh, multiply that by uh, uh, 10 years, that's 60,000 Kenya shillings. So that's 60,000 that, um, from that came simply from a 5,000 Kenya shilling investment. So imagine now if you grow that over a period of time where that takes you. So I think the sooner you start, the easier it is for you to realize any financial goals you might have. And also it's something that allows you the freedom. So if you're earning that 50,000, you have 5,000 to save. Now you have the rest of the 45,000 to think about what you can do with it. You can have fun with your friends. It doesn't limit you uh, to buy um, as many lunches as you want. It doesn't limit you from buying any clothes that you might want. So I think start investing now and you will see the benefits. And those benefits will um, become more, you'll realize those benefits as time goes along. So. Uh, my advice to anyone uh, who's thinking, should I start investing now, especially if you're in your 20s, I think start investing now and those benefits uh, shall come eventually.